were talking about this guy, St. Germain, who's the leader of the seventh ray, the seventh ray of transformation. He brought with him some very special tools for us to use in the seventh golden age. And one of them is this violet flame, and that's most of the time where you see him in purple. Now, the use of the violet flame is um, basically asking your I am presence to bring down through its violet flame to burn out of your four lower bodies all that is not of the light. So in a way it kind of kickstarts you into acceleration into clearing some of your patterns um, and it burns off negative energies, dross energies, um, depression, anything negative that's held into your field. Now the key to this and much of this work remains on the creative side of who you are. And if we go back again to the Bible and who God was, he was our creator. He, he um, created man in his image, which means we're also creators. And as you can see, St. Germain, is, he's representing this Merkaba, two superimposed triangle, both male, female, Shiva, Shakti, superimposed on, on each other, male, female, together, create babies, create life. So man is also a creator. So if you go to create something, if I want to create a table or if I want to make a plan, if I want to make a TV or if I want to make a radio, whatever I decide that I want to create, it first has to start here in my mind. So I have to think about it. And when I think about it, what I'm actually doing is visualizing something in my head. The same thing that children do. When they create creative play, they're visualizing and pretending. They're creating a facade. They're creating something in their, in their mind. So uh, Maury Pressman, Dr. Maury Pressman, um, MD, was a, a good friend of mine. He's written a couple books on twin flame soulmates. He did a lot of research in um, visualization and super consciousness. And he was one of the forerunners in developing programs for people like sports people to actually create images in their mind and pretend that they were actually crossing a finish line or visualize themselves actually doing something before they did it. Now it helped many of these athletes actually achieve what they were out to do because they had already created it in their mind. And by doing so, the belief came and that whole thing came into manifestation. <clears throat> now, a few years ago, there was a book called The Secret. And if many of you remember, The Secret had the same concept. You take a board and you put pictures on that board that you wanted to manifest into your life. And the whole concept behind that was to look at this and visualize what you wanted to come into your life. Now, it works the same way, except the whole concept for the secret missed the part that you have to get your emotions involved. Now, thinking is great, <clears throat> but thinking alone cannot create. Now, if we go back to St. Germain and we go back to Jesus, two things that they have in common are... I can do this right, the heart chakra. Now why I say Jesus is that if you remember, in his heart chakra, if you see all those pictures, you see those flames in his heart chakra, and if you see Saint Germain, you see these triangles, or this Merkaba, representing creation. Now I say you don't see that at Saint Germain's heart chakra, although it's here in his chest, that is the representation for heart chakra um, in Sanskrit. So, two of the same things. Where do our emotions come from is our heart. That's where the energy will come from to create. So, in order to create, we need to involve our emotions and we need to involve our thoughts, our images in our minds. So, that leads us to violet flame usage which means if I am looking to clear my four lower bodies using the violet flame technique, I will sit with my eyes closed, calm, peaceful, <laughs> hopefully sitting, he's not sitting, he's standing, I guess you could do it standing, um, and I will picture in my mind's eye up here, like and, and pictures in your mind's eye, if you think, remember something, remember what your dog did yesterday or what your child did yesterday. Those pictures in your mind are what now you are going to create in your mind. You're going to visualize your body and you're going to visualize flames coming 
all around your body. And there goes the dogs again. <laughs> Hopefully, I want to stop again. But you're going to visualize all this around your body, all over. Now, while you're visualizing, I want you to feel or use one of your other senses. Um, hearing, seeing, touching, smelling, what did I miss? Feeling, to add to the silent flame. So you can see purple flames burning all around you, but now maybe can you smell it too? Or can you associate the crackling sound of a fire and visualize this crackling and burning off all, all this negative uh, energy that's around you. Those two things will create in this powerful center something that will manifest through the I am, which is called the violet flame, the gift that Saint Germain has given us. Now, the most important part of this whole process um, that I've noticed um, with myself that helps the most is you don't want to miss um, above your head. That's where the I am presence comes down. It's like where your consciousness comes down, where you can expand your field. It's always through that, that crown chakra, you know, like with Jesus where he had the halo. So concentrate on this area a lot and you'll get a lot further in opening yourself up to that I am presence. Now as you do that, um, and you practice your meditation, and you're using the violet flame, and you're starting to become conscious of your patterns and what you're doing, you'll begin to recollect past lives. Now, my past lives didn't come back to me all of a sudden. I had inklings along the way. And then uh, once I started using violet flame technique, I started getting little things. Like I would be standing at the sink, and I would look at my hands, and they would look like somebody else's hands, but I knew that they were my hands. And then I would start getting flashes of images from those past lives, and then pretty soon those things linked up, and then I was ready to put it all together. So don't be surprised if you, after you start using the violet flame, you start um, remembering some of those past lives. So hopefully you'll have uh, good luck with that. I know a lot of people do. And um, it is the gift of St. Germain, so you might want to pay homage to him. You can also ask for his assistance and for Jesus' assistance. In the next uh, video, we'll talk about working with the Ascended Masters for your own personal development and ascension and Twin Flame Union. And um, in the meantime, you can call on St. Germain to help you with Violet Flame visualization. So I hope that helps you out, and we'll see you next time.